Uh, you misunderstood my question. I was asking about free to play option, but I already tell for premium icons that are worth putting for free to play if they want to do some vertical investment. Sorry, Mr. Pocky. I couldn't quite catch what you said. Can you repeat it for me slowly? Uh, you misunderstood my question. I was asking about free to play option, but I already tell for premium icons that are worth putting for free to play if they want to do some vertical investment. Thank you, Mr. Pocky. The YouTube comments will surely understand you now. Premium like coins. Usually, the best will always be your DPS like coin, usually speaking. Supports probably your Rod May, your. I want to say Bobbin, but like this, really. Okay, actually, now that I think about it, none of these support light coins are like crazy, crazy worth for Stellar Jades. I will, I will always consider, okay, between DPS, support, and sustain, right? I will always prioritize a DPS light coin because the DPS light coin, it always, or not, not always, but it usually is a 15 to 20% final damage increase compared to the next free to play option for a DPS. Where for support, because if you think about this, right? Robin, if you don't have a signature, you can run Bronya signature. You can run Poise to Bloom. You can run the, the event. Like, there's so many like when the uh, Robin could run. It's honestly fine. Sparkle, I don't even have Sparkle signature myself. I just permanently use her with either Dance 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 or Bronya signature. No issues whatsoever. Run May. Okay, Run May signature icon is a pretty interesting one. Because it is the only icon in the game that gives us 10 energy and one skill point, as well as the damage percentage. So, Technically, this is this could be really, really good. But there's one little problem, or rather not a problem, but something that I noticed recently is that nowadays, because not b b before we had the super break, right? Before we had like a uh, Robin all that stuff, we were usually using Rame with like a lot of different teams. Like your hyper carry, your DOT, like everybody was using Rame. So the one skill point and 10 energy was quite impactful, as well as the damage. But nowadays, I noticed that Rame is starting to becoming a, a more break, quote unquote, dedicated break support, in a sense. Like, for DOT, I would just run Robin. For Hyper Carry, I would just run Robin. Uh, for pretty much everything in the game, I would just run Robin. The only world that I wouldn't want run Robin over Ramei is for break teams. And unfortunately, Ramei's signature light cones, there are three effects, right? One is the skill point, two is the 10 energy, and three is the, um, the damage percentage. The damage percentage changes nothing. Your break damage is, has, z it has zero impact on break damage. So the damage is completely useless. The skill point, usually when I'm playing break team, I don't really face skill point issues. I'm not sure about you, but I don't really face skill point issues that much on, on break teams. It's quite comfortable. The only thing is the 10 energy. So far, the utility that remains, the stronger utility right now is the 10 energy, which basically enables your Harmony Trailblazer to get ultimate at turn one, I believe, without breaking. So that is honestly, yeah, that is honestly a pretty good utility. But this is where I will raise this question. Would you rather have a Ranmei Signature Light Cone or an Akron Signature Light Cone? Would you rather have a Ranmei Signature Light Cone or actually technically Firefly Signature Light Cone? Oh, honestly, Firefly Signature Light Cone is really, really good as well, to be completely fair, you know? So like, it usually boils back down to opportunity cost because a support Signature Light Cone is always the same cost as a DPS Signature Light Cone, right? It's, it's all the same. Sustained light coins, I usually never get it. They're, they're, I, I always genuinely never get it. So like, in terms of opportunity cost, the absolute highest, in my, in my opinion, value, usually is your DPS. I'm trying to think of one example where it's not DPS. For example, phase out signature light cone, right? It's not that far off from Doctor Ratio, but it's Doctor Ratio signature light cone as well. And it is quite far off from cruising as Stella C. It's right, around 15% as well. The ultimate damage falls off by almost like 100,000. Jing Liu as well. Jing Liu, Jing Liu with the signature like going with uh, versus 4 of Aeon is like, it's so different. In Bibito Lune, energy duration is so good. Blade, Yuin Li, it's like almost every single DPS signature like going. It makes the playing experience, the utility, the comfort feels more impactful compared to getting like a, in this case, Ranmei signature like going. In a world where we are usually only using Ranmei for break supports. Assuming that you have Robin, right? So, am I yapped quite a bit? Uh... Yeah, so that's my thought. Leave your thoughts down in the comments. This is a purely subjective take. I don't claim to know it all, but it's just my personal opinion. A uh, few to agree, disagree. L's or W's? Uh, leave them down in the comments below, right? Okay, anyways. Uh, as someone who loves crunching number, your recent explanation on HSR speed calculation was beyond enjoyable. You know, I'm a keep it a silence, Mr. Pocky. The video has to end now.